Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. I am Malika. If you're new to my channel, it's nice to meet you. I hope you all are having a fabulous day. I am under the weather. You could probably hear it in my voice, but slowly but surely, I'm getting over this cold. The weather is so back and forth. Like one day is hot, one day is cold, in the morning is cold, in the evening it's warm like oh my god but anyway i am just so elated and happy about just everything that is going on i really want to answer a lot of you guys questions i got some emails and dms from a lot of my queens like asking me about youtube and how to do this and how to do that so i really want to do a question answer for you queens so if you have any questions like it could be anything it could be related to makeup it could be related to how to get started on YouTube like it could be related to anything it doesn't matter you can leave it down in the comment box below or you can shoot me a DM on my Instagram or my Facebook I'll leave um, my Instagram and Facebook links down below I really want to answer all of you guys questions at once um, on a video so please 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 Email me, DM me, or leave it down in the comment box below, and I will be sure to answer all of you guys' questions. Like, I want to answer all of them. I love hearing from you queens. All right, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing makeup on a budget. I'm going to be using brands from the drugstore, brands from the hair store, and just inexpensive brands in general. Because I feel like around this time... Like, buying stuff can get really crazy, and before you know it, you're looking at your bank account like, dang, what did I buy? I wanted to give you guys another tutorial, because I've done one of these before, but I wanted to use multiple brands, not just, like, one specific one. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using multiple brands to create a look using inexpensive makeup. So, if you guys are interested in watching this tutorial, then you know what to do, queen. Stay tuned. Alright, queen, so the first thing I'm going to start off doing is my brows. And I'm going to be using the Dark Brown Brow Pomade by Ardell. And you can get this from Sally. Now, I'm going to take my 208 MAC Angle Brush and I'm going to fill in my brows with the Brow Pomade. Alright, now that we have that done, I'm going to go underneath the brow and clean it up with some concealer and make it look nice and fresh. So with that same brush, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm going to clean underneath my brow. And you can get that concealer from the hair store. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of that concealer. I literally did not get any sleep last night because of this dang on cold. I really hope that this clears up by the end of the day because I cannot take it. I was on the verge of making a hottie toddy, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because I just, like, the thought of liquor just makes me want to gag when I'm sick. All right, so now I'm going to blend that out with a blending brush. Alright, so now I'm going to put that concealer on my lid and use it as an eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to set it with some loose powder. Alright, so now I'm going to set this with some loose powder. And the powder I'm going to use is Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And it's in the shade Deep. And I love this powder. Like, it's so good. Concealer won't be sticky and it doesn't mix in with the eyeshadow. Alright, so the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using today is highly requested from one of my queens. It's the sugar palette from Shop Hush and it's made by Face Candy and it's a dupe to the Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced. So if you were wanting the Too Faced palette but you are on a budget like me, then head over to Shop Hush and get this sugar palette, girl. Okay. Alright, so the first shade I'm going to take is, it's like a burnt orange color. So I'm going to use that color in my crease to start out with. I noticed that you guys really like when I do the dupes for high-end makeup. So I'm going to try to do as many as I can. Shop Hush is like the perfect place to find dupes for eyeshadow palettes, blush palettes, highlighter palettes. It's like the best place to find that. And the prices are super, super low. Like, this palette is $10. I'm going to leave all of that information down in my um, description box. 
so you guys can check it out. And the shadows are super pigmented and creamy and easy to blend. And this brush is the Morphe E27 brush, if you were wondering. Alright, so the next shade I'm going to take is Blackberry Tart. It's right here. It's like a dark purple. And I'm going to pop it on the outer corner of my lid and I'm going to work it into my crease. And this is the Morphe M505 brush. Alright, so now I'm going to take that first brush and I'm just going to blend those colors together. Because I want it to be a nice transition. Alright, so I think I have it as dark as I want it to be. So now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Primer. And you can get this from Ulta Beauty. Alright, so now I'm going to take a flat brush. It's the MAC 228 brush. And I'm going to use it to carve out my crease with the glitter primer. Alright, so now I'm going to take some glitter. And this is from J Cat's Beauty. And this is in the color Gold Pumpkin. And it's like a coppery... It looks like a pumpkin. It does. Okay, so, and these were Azula, and I picked these up at a beauty supply store when I was in Atlanta. I don't see them at my local beauty supply store, which sucks, but they do also have it on, like, samsbeauty.com. So, I'm putting this in the center of my lid first. Mm. Okay, we sparkling queens. Okay, so... Ooh, this glitter is getting everywhere. Now I'm going to take Gold Rolled, and it's a more golden glitter. It's from J Cat's Beauty as well. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I like it. Alright, so now moving on to the face. I'm going to be trying out the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. And I picked up two because I'm not sure which one is going to match my skin complexion. When I ordered it online, I wasn't sure. And it looks like this one is going to match me more so than this one. Because this one is super light. It didn't look that light online. Um, but this is in the color Cappuccino. And this one is in the color Warm Caramel. Or Caramel. However you pronounce it. So I'm going to take Cappuccino. And see what it's working with I've seen a lot of people review it and they seem to love it the coverage seems to be really like nice like medium to full and it has a matte finish like it says so we're gonna see what LA colors is working with I don't think I know I've tried something from LA colors but I can't remember what it was like I know I've tried something let's see i've already primed my face so i'm just gonna take a couple pumps out put it on the back of my hand and i'm gonna take a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation with today mm -hmm. it smells like peanuts and ceramics that is really weird smells like ceramic my dad does ceramics and i loved art class so much in high school and ceramics and stuff like that and it smells like a kennel a kennel a kin okay this is showing up orange on camera maybe once it's on it'll calm down a little bit but I'm so used to my foundations being like this when I first apply them like orange so far I'm loving the coverage of it even though it looks kind of orange I still love the coverage it's giving me a nice finish I'm gonna see what this one looks like since this one is so like orange it's not that bad though it's not that bad so, I'm going to see what this one looks like just a little bit because it is super light. This will probably be a substitute for, like, concealer. So, I'm going to see 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Okay, so this is warm caramel. Hmm. Yeah. Cappuccino looks like it's gonna be my best bet. I could probably pull this off in the winter months. Um, well now I'm confused. I don't know, what do y'all think? Now I feel like warm caramel matches me better. Now that it's blended out. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. If I mix the two, it'll probably look great. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Cause I don't wanna be walking around here looking like a Oompa Loompa. And I also don't wanna be walking around here looking like a ghost either. So we gotta meet in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like warm caramel looks like me, I think. Y'all gotta let me know. What do y'all think? Because I can't see. I need to put my glasses on. But in the mirror up close, it looks like warm caramel matches me better. If you are interested in these foundations, uh, they're $6, which is super cheap. And the finish is nice. So, you can't beat that at all. We just gotta pray it doesn't break me out because I'm definitely gonna be sad about it. And I will let you know. I'm just going to assume that the mix together works for me because, I don't know, you guys tell me, do you feel like warm caramel matches me better alone or does it look right if I mix them together? So, let me know. So far, I'm loving the finish. I'm just iffy about the color. Like, I don't know what looks best. Okay? So, the next thing I'm going to be trying out are the ColourPop um, concealers. I'm going to see what they're working with. I ordered these online, even though ColourPop is in Sephora now. I checked their website, and they don't have everything on there. So I don't want to go to the store and like waste my time in there. So I just ordered it online. I heard really good things about these concealers. I heard they compare to the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. But these are way less drying than the um, Shape Tape concealers. And I love the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. So we're going to see what it's working with. I got it in the color Deep Golden and tan so sometimes I like to go with like a really light highlight and sometimes I like to go with a more subtle highlight so today I feel like I'm gonna want to go with a more subtle one so I'm gonna try a deep golden and see what it looks like oh that's cute this is really subtle I never go this subtle this is more subtle than my warm honey Concealer by LA Girl. It is crazy. This is really cute. So I'm gonna try both of them out just to see. I wanna see what they both look like. It can't be too big of a difference because the colors were right next to each other, I think. That is really cute. I know that when I set it with my powder, it's going to mute this color and you're probably not gonna be able to see it anymore. So I'm gonna try the tan shade and see what it looks like but so far I'm loving this natural highlight like this is really cute I love it love it okay so now I'm gonna try tan on the other side just to see the difference oh okay yeah this is what I'm used to yeah that's bright let's see what it looks like blended out Okay, blend it out, it looks really nice. That's cute. Oh, I don't know which one I like Mo. Mo, what? What do y'all think? Let me know, I wanna hear from you. They almost look the same. I like this one more, just because even though it applied super bright once you blend it out it blends effortlessly in my opinion it doesn't compare to shape take if i could compare it to anything it'll probably be nars creamy radiant concealer in the way 
that this applies it's so creamy and like lightweight and then when you blend it down it blends like right into your skin like it's like a natural finish it reminds me of NARS and this was only six bucks and that's not bad for a concealer because I think NARS creamy radiant concealer is like 20 something or probably more all right so now that we have all of that blended out I'm going to take my Maybelline fit me powder again and I'm going to go and set my under eyes in everywhere else that I concealed y'all so far I'm loving this concealer like I was sleeping on the ColourPop concealers for real I done found me a new inexpensive concealer girl and I also like the foundation too I just don't know which one would work best by itself I don't know I'm really leaning towards the tan is that tan? no why? I'm really leaning towards the warm caramel the one I put on this side I think that matches like well but I still want y'all to tell me which one you feel like matches me the most so while that's setting I'm gonna do the lower lash line and apply some eyeshadow down there so I'm gonna take that purple shade from the sugar palette that we use on the outer corner and I'm using the morphe M507 brush. And I'm just going halfway. I'm not going all the way into the inner corner because I don't want the whole bottom to be smoked out. Alright, so now I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm going to be taking my favorite mascara, which is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara in the color um, Baddest Black. My lashes are so short and curly. Alright, so I'm not going to put any liner in my waterline because I don't want my eye to be like super smoked out. I just, I feel like I look tired when I put black in my waterline plus the mascara and the eyeshadow. Like, it's just it's too much. I'm going to blend this powder out. Alright, so now I'm going to contour and I'm going to use the Black Radiance Contour Kit. And I'm going to take the contour shade. And I'm using my Delium brush. It's the 943 Face Shading Brush. And this is really good for contouring and getting those chiseled cheekbones, queens. If you're not around me. Alright, so I don't have any blushes that are inexpensive, but I'm sure you can find like a Maybelline blush or a um, Wet n Wild blush or a black radiance blush i don't have any drugstore blushes so i'm gonna just skip that part because some people don't wear blushes like my sister she does not like blush i don't know why but she does contouring and highlighting and she doesn't do her blush so we're gonna skip blush today i'm gonna use the unicorn glow highlighting collection from face candy and you can get this on shophush.com too this is 10 bucks and these colors are pretty different but someone requested that I use this. So we're going to see what it's working with, okay? Alright, so I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Enchanted. And I'm going to put it on the highest point of my cheek. Look at that! It made my contour pop even more because it looks like my cheekbones are super high. And my contour looks like... <sighs> That's crazy. It's amazing what going without blush will do. Oh, that's cute. Alright, so now for lips. I picked up a lippy from ColourPop, so I'm going to try it out. And this one is new to me. I haven't tried this one specifically. It's called Tansy. And the lip liner I got is called BFF3. So I'm going to try and see what these look like. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick and again, it's in the color Tansy and it's like a really cute, like brownie nude. I feel like I look flat. I don't really like it. I'm going to try the other one that I picked up. I'm going to put it on top and this one is in the color Strip and I've tried this one already. I've already bought this one before. Okay, that looks better. 
Yes, queens. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my lashes. These are from Pretty Lash Couture in the style Nights in Belize. And you've seen me rock these before. These are also really inexpensive. I love this style. I know these lashes are kind of big, but I like big lashes. Like, I like big lashes. My eyes are big, so... I want some big lashes. Alright queen, so we're done with this look. I feel like it turned out really cute for like inexpensive products. Like it turned out really cute. I like it. It's very like fall like to me. It's really cute. So as far as the products go, um, starting out with the foundations from LA Colors. I really like the foundation. The finish is super nice and matte. I feel like once I put it on and it's settled into my skin, it really, like, you know, calmed down a bit. It doesn't look orange like it did when I first applied it. I don't know which one works best for me if I use them by itself. I really like how the warm caramel looks on my skin. And I really like how the cappuccino shade looked after it settled. So... I don't know. I feel like I would probably wear the cappuccino before I would wear the warm caramel just to be on the safe side and not be looking like a ghost. Like, I hate that look. Like, oh my god. No. The foundations are really nice. And they're super cheap. They were only $6. So you can't beat that for a full coverage. This looks like it's full coverage. Like, I didn't apply that much. And it's, it's really nice. It has a nice finish. As far as the concealers go... Girl, if you haven't already um, typed in ColourPop.com in your search bar, then what are you waiting for, girl? These concealers are super nice. How they apply and then how they blend out. Like, they remind me of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealers. And NARS is expensive. Okay. Alright. Alright, so moving on to the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This powder is the bomb. I love it because it matches my skin complexion and it sets my makeup perfectly. Like, I really like this powder. This is this is really good, Maybelline. Y'all really hit the nail on the head with that. I really love the Sugar Palette. This is an amazing dupe for the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced. If you didn't get that palette or you don't want to spend the money on the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I would definitely suggest getting the Face Candy Sugar Palette. Girl, this palette is the bomb. The colors are super pigmented and easy to blend. And the shadows are really creamy. And that's surprising because it's a $10 palette. You really can't beat that. Especially if you're wanting to shop for the holidays and you want to get people stuff. And you know someone really likes eyeshadow but you don't want to break the bank on high-end makeup shop hush is like the perfect website to get dupes for high-end brands as far as the glow kit goes girl that's cute i really like the glow kit at first i was a little like oh these colors are like mm, mm. but then i was like okay it's really cute i love how it's golden in the pan but it definitely has some pink reflect in it it's really cute i like it and you can also get that on shop hush too and as far as the lipstick goes i was like thrown off from the first shade that i tried on but strip and bff3 is really cute together i really like these colors together it's like a warm peachy color i really like it it's cute and you know i love my big lashes so if you're interested in these lashes as well, I'm going to put everything down in the description box below for you queens. So you don't have to worry about that. I will, I got you. I got you. You can use my discount code for shophush.com. It's Malika10 at checkout so you can get some more money off. And if you like what I do, dupes for high-end makeup, then thumbs up this video and I'll definitely do some more for you queens. I definitely want to try to help you guys out as much as I can when it comes to finding makeup that is inexpensive. So that is all I have for you today, queens. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, we're really cool over here. We're all queens and we're all fabulous. So you might as well hit the subscribe button so you can join us. See you queens later. Bye.